Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, my name is Neon Jacket, and welcome to our new Let's Play of Lumion Legacy. Now this is a pretty fun game, and if you haven't noticed or haven't seen, I have been uploading shorts, and I have posted a few shorts of uh, my Pocket Edition account of some of the Lumions evolving and all that, and honestly, I, this is a really fun game, so we're just going to jump right into it, we're going to hit new game. Midas Town. Look at this. Now, you, you're able to, like, do a whole bunch of gems and stuff like that. Like, all these different little, uh, pictures up here. Those are all different gems. And, like, they're badges. As you can see, we don't have anything because we're level one. We haven't done nothing yet. It's a cute little town. They have a little quarry. Very nice. And this is kind of like a Pokemon-type game. So, you can catch creatures, evolve them, this, that, and the other. There's a bunch of different creatures that you can choose from, and you have starters, and we'll see all that soon. This is just kind of the lore. But I'm telling you what's going on, starting your, your journey, and it does have a, a pretty decent story. It's not finished yet. Alright, let's see. Fascinating. I guess you could say that was. This just in. The storm has appeared out of nowhere in the southeast Roria. Meteorologists are stumped by this anomaly in the weather that appeared so suddenly. As we continue to investigate, we will keep you informed. As always, tune in Roria News on 6 to stay up to date on everything happening. Something serious is going on, guys. Bad storm, bad storm. We don't like that. And as you can see, like, I... Uh... Hey, honey, could you please come downstairs? I guess that's our mom. Um, I can't turn the screen, so this is kind of like how Pokemon is... Where, when you're inside of a building, you're locked to a certain perspective. Even, uh, outside isn't like this, though. Oh, there you are. Your father called a moment ago. He was at the dig site when the storm came. He said something very interesting has happened to the stone tablet he's been studying. He insists showing you. Oh, I see you're tired. Your new... Oh, you tried on your new Lumi watch. I'm sorry. To be set up, you have to press this button. Oh, thanks, mother. Look at this. It's updating. Yeah. Brand new Lumi Watch. Part of the cool club now. We'll just go with Neon Jacket. Yep. Alright. Rory ID, Neon Jacket, blah 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 blah. I'll teach you more about your new Lumi watch later. For now, I need to get going. I need to check on the Lumians that we have been caring for at the lab. They aren't trained yet, and they startle easily. Don't forget, your father wanted to go, wanted you to go see him at the dig site. Be careful in the weather out there. All right. Got our news from our mother. Be careful out there. Let's go to the dig site. All right. Now look at this. Let's see. I assume the dig site would be the big brown stuff, right? Yeah, that's the dig site. Now we don't start off with our Lumians just yet, and this seems to be our dad, I guess? Oh, there you are, Neon Jacket. I see you got my message from your mother. You'll never believe what just happened. First, we were outside when the storm clouds appeared out of nowhere. Rain came pouring down suddenly, so we ran in here to seek shelter. That's what the text on the tablet. That's when the text on the tablet unexpectedly began to glow. The characters actually came off and completely rearranged themselves. I know it sounds crazy, but you'll find this text does not match what previously recorded. What's happening now? Oh, something's going on. Well, okay. They all disappeared. <laughs> Alright. Stone just flew off. I can't believe it. The tablet. It's actually gone. All that research just got up and flew away. This isn't good. We are unable to finish the transcribing the new, the new text. The piece of the stone tablet seemed to have all gone to different directions. I think someone or something didn't want us reading that message. We're going to have to search for all of the pieces so that we can continue to study the stone. That's odd. The rain seems to have t stopped. 
Neon Jacket, I'm gonna have to, I'm going to the Lumion Laboratory to update your mother on all of this. You should meet us there whenever you get a chance. See you later. Gah, I can't speak with nothing. So this, alright, let's see what all this is. We got Navigate, we only got that town. Hubs, I have no clue what any of this is. Weather, at 2 we have Heavy Rainfall and Sephirite Junkfall. Or Junkyard, oop. Got inventory, our ID. We got some boosts and got options. Good to know. Good to know. All right, uh, we need to go to the laboratory, and I believe that's just over there by that. I'd assume so, right? It's a very cute little town. Look at that big dude. Gas stroke. Huh. That's a big dude. That's crazy. Alright, let's uh let's go to the laboratory. There's Lumians here apparently. Our mother and our father, I guess, are scientists. So this is their lab. Hey Neon Jacket. I'm glad to see that you made it back safely, sweetie. Hey champ, good timing. I was just catching your mother up on what happened at the dig site. So for months you've been studying that mysterious stone you found and it starts acting weird around the same time that mysterious storm appeared over town? That can't be a coincidence. I believe you're right. Soon after the text changed on the stone, it was broken and the pieces were scattered in the wind. I didn't even get enough time to transcribe the new message on this tablet before the pieces disappeared. You told me that you have deciphered the original text weeks ago. W what did the original message say again? It roughly translated to the creature's secret lies dormant within until the day of the awakening it comes again. If I could only get the pieces of the tablet back, I could decipher its new message. Hopefully, whatever it said would give us some clue. Did you happen to see where they went? No, they flew out every direction. There is no telling where they could have gone. Didn't you tell me that the tablet in emanated, excuse me, emanated a subtle but unique energy signature? Yes, it's interfered with our equipment while we were digging nearby. That is what led us to the first place. What if you fine-tuned that technology to detect the missing pieces of the tablet? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes, that just might work. If I had access to the satellite array, I could emit a signal strong and wide enough to detect the pieces. But who do I know that has a facility equipped with a satellite array? You wanted to use my equipment? Is that okay with you, my dear? Of course, I'm interested to see if this is tied to a Lumi and I have yet to document. Excellent, thank you. I do wonder, though, how will you be able to operate your machine here? While searching for the missing pieces at the same time? That is a good question. Don't look at me. My field research days are coming to a close. I'm getting too old to go on adventures looking for spooky rocks. Maybe if I was still in my prime. Haha, <laughs> no worries, Derek. I actually had someone else in mind. Sweetheart, how do you feel about letting Neon Jacket go in my place to search for the stones? I think that would be perfect. I've been thinking of trusting Neon Jacket with a Lumion from the lab for quite some time now. Look at that, we're about to get a creature. I would love nothing more than to see our child on an adventure. Lumians by their side experiencing what I did when I was young. Ah, yes. The life of a Lumian trainer. What do you think, Neon Jacket? Will you help me out? Your mother is offering to give you your very first Lumian to help you along the way. This is the biggest grin I think I've ever seen. I th I th so I'd say Neon Jacket has been wanting something like this for a while. Uh, I'm certainly not surprised one bit, considering how much Neon Jacket watched the battle theater shows on TV. That's perfect, champ. Maybe one day you'll be on TV when you challenge a battle theater yourself. Well then, it's settled. I need to get set up in here, sweetie. Sweetheart, why don't you give Neon Jacket a Lumion now, and then practice with the quick battle? That's a great idea. Neon Jacket, follow me over here, and let's find you a Lumion you like. This is so exciting. Picking your first Lumion, your f 
Picking your first Lumians is so special. Lumians are lifelong companions that will n you will never forget. Pick one that you like the most, and when you've decided, I'll teach you how to battle. Alright. Attention, everybody. You all remember Neon Jacket, don't you? Gather around. Don't be shy. Aw, look at him. Let's see here. One of you is missing. Feevine. Come on, Feevine. Alright. Okay, Neon Jacket, pick any Lumian you want. <coughs> Alright, so now, excuse all of the mess ups and the speaking and the talking. That was a lot of words. I couldn't keep up with myself in some parts. We got Vambat, we got Feevine. It looks like a little, it's a plant type. It's a little plant cat. We got a dark bat. We got an electric uh, weevil. We got a little water dude, got a little eagle buddy, it's light, and then we got a fire bunny and a snow cub. Ah, uh, let's see, um, I, whenever I played on my phone, I went with Vambat. I really liked him, he was cool, he definitely was strong, I, it was nice, but I kind of want to go with something different, so I say... Oh, this is difficult. Let's go with Embit. I like the bunny. Yeah, we're just gonna go with Embit. Let's give him a little nickname. Let's call him Blue. Uh, hmm. For now, we're just gonna call him Blaze. I want to think of a better nickname for him. Something that's a little more ironic. Cause, you know, he's a little bunny. I might as well make it fun, you know. Now, before we battle, I want to explain a few things. Lumians are companions to their trainers. In a battle, you and your Lumian work together and strategize together to defeat your opponents. You'll come across many other wild Lumians and trainers with trained Lumians who will want to battle you. The first person to run out of Lumians that are able and willing to fight loses the match. In time, you will learn strategies that will help you overcome all of your opponents. Now, without further delay, let's see what you can do. Alright, our first fight. Kaboonga. Oh, look at our mom's pet. Look at that. Alright, before we begin, I want to explain a few things about battling. You'll notice your Lumi watch that your Lumian's health is displayed in green and its energy in purple. When your Lumian's health reaches zero, it will be unable to battle, and you'll need to use another Lumian if you have any. If you'll notice a few options, fight, items, Lumians, and run, go ahead and select your fight option. Alright. Now look at your Lumian's moves. You'll notice a number text to EC. This is the move's energy cost. Each time you use a move, your Lumian's energy will be reduced by the energy of the cost of the move. Blah, 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 blah. We do get this. I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip this part, because I know this part. I don't want to read all of this. I really don't. We all know how to fight. It's easy. Singe. At least we have some, uh... Look at that. That pretty much downed his health completely. Let's do pounds. See if that'll just finish him off. Uh-oh. It might. No. Alright. I'm just gonna singe him then. Because I don't want to have to hit him twice. Twice more. I feel like we would end up having to hit him two more times after that. No, no, no. Look at that. Bam. First fight. Done. 57 experience. First level. Calabunga. <laughs> Good job, honey. That was an excellent battle. I think you and your Lumion will do just fine. You go on your adventure together. Got my gear all set up now. Come have a look. This machine will take the signals received from the stone chunks and display on the screen a general location of where they are. As you would look at that, it's already detecting a signal from Gale Forest. The sail isn't far, it's just alright, just past Chesma Town. It's one town over from us, it's just on the other side of Route 1. You should have no trouble getting there. Neon Jack and I need you to travel to Gale Forest and see if you can find anything. First missing piece and report back. Alright, okay, keep in touch. If 
find anything, give us a call, and we'll decide what to do from there. That sounds excellent. Oh, and take this. We got a closet key. Behind the door, you'll find a closet containing a few items I think you'll find very useful on the road. Alright. Oh, back here. Oh, gee, look at this. Aha! Uh -huh. Little storage chests. Meds, that's helpful. What is this? Oh, capture discs. Even more nice. Even nicer. I can't speak. I'm dyslexic with speech. Alright, we're just gonna go over here. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Let's let's get out and kill some things. Or, uh, uh knock some things out, I guess. That's a better way of saying it. Now it's night time. I wish it weren't night. But look at our bunny. It's adorable. Look at little Blaze. Cute little face. Bridge is now unblocked. That guy's not here with this big old dude. Someone's calling us. Is it our mother already? Yep, it's mom. Before you run out on Route 1, I want to quickly explain something. If you used the key before I gave you to open the closet in the lab and took what was inside the boxes, then you should have some capture discs. While adventuring... Oh yeah, this is just telling me that I can capture some uh, creatures. So yeah. Yep, knock, you don't want to knock it out, but you just hurt it a little and it's easier to capture, yada yada. Let's see what we got. Cathorn. This is a bug type. I don't like him. He evolves into a big, like, he evolves into a, a cocoon. And all he does is just keep his defense up. He can't do anything else. And I, I'm not going to sit there and try and level him up to get him to the next stage. Because you, you have to have, like, a, a rope. If I had a rope, then I would consider getting a Cathorn and evolving it. But I don't know where the ropes come from, so... I'm not gonna try. If I get one eventually, then we might just evolve a Cathorn and see what it looks like. Now, all we're gonna do is try and, I guess, make our way to the next town. I think that was our objective. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to look. Get this dude level up. I think we sh we'll probably end up evolving. I think it was... Maybe around like 18, level 18. So it'll be a minute, but we should get some new skills in between now and then. Be able to use more. No, I don't have anyone to switch to. I'm not too concerned about this. I think he only had two Lumians. This should be his last. Let's see. Oh, burn. I forgot. This is a fire type. And we avoided his attack. Look at that. Just hurting himself. Yeah, this is his last Lumion. Do not have enough energy. Okay. So, what is this? Uh, I'm not... No. I'm just not gonna... Forget what Growl did. I think it lowers their defense. Pretty sure. Okay. This should kill him. Wha-bam! And gone. Look at that. Cathorn gone. That is our first trainer battle. Boom. Done. Level 7. You just need some more training. We just need some more training. That's all. Yeah. You got it, buddy. You got it. Alright. Um. Let's run through here. Yeah. That's kind of what I expected. A twiddle. Look at this little twiddle. I don't know if they evolve. Should we, if this doesn't kill it, we might capture it. Just might. Maybe. I don't know, it's only level 3. We'll try. We'll give it a shot. If we don't capture it first time, then we'll kill it. That sounds good to me. 2, 3... Towers. All right, look at that. Already got our second Lumion. I'm not gonna name it. I'm just gonna leave that one. All right, 
let's see here. Uh, our bunny is, both of them are kind of iffy on health, so I'm just going to use that on both of them. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Close that now. I caught my Lumians very close to where we stand now. We've got some experience under our belt. We're now ready for a match. Look at this. Got another battle. I believe there's going to be a whole bunch of these battles on the way throughout the like story. That we are required because they'll literally stop you in your place. They won't let you walk past them. Let's see. That should kill it. Nope. Okay. It did not. How how very nice. I wish it did. That would have made my life a lot easier. Okay. That's one down. Oh, look at that. He only had one. Oh, okay. Twilight. Let's see. Let's see if this kills him. It might. It did not. Okay. I kind of want to capture a Twilight. I'm not going to use all of our capture discs. If this doesn't kill him, I'll capture him. Okay, good. Use Twaddle. Boom shakalaka. One more. No? Okay, didn't need one more. I wasn't counting. I kind of zoned out. Alright, we got it. No nickname. I don't want to name you. I don't want to get attached. We learned Burrow, so that raises our defense. There's a chest over there. But we got interrupted by this woman. We gotta fight her now. Alright, come on. Let's just get it over with. How many Lumians do you got? Can you have one like the last guy, please? Please, we have two. Uh, singe. Bam. Very nice, very nice. We're gonna do it again. Just finish you off, cause this is just what we do. I like the tail on this dude. It's, I, I think it's cute. No, I'm not gonna. Oh, I could have. I could have switched to Twilight, couldn't I have? Catherine's level four. I'm just gonna use Blaze. I want to level him up primarily. I I can put. I c I'll show you guys. I'll show you what I can do. Show you exactly what we will do. So we can focus on this guy and get this guy evolved. You know, channel all of it into him. All right. Boom! You're done. Look, just next time. Don't talk to strangers, and this won't happen. You won't get embarrassed like that again. We're going to go here. So as you see, we have our uh, Lumians sitting here. This is kind of our like, inventory of Lumians, pretty much. And the bench Lumians will gain experience through the fights that you complete with any of the Lumians up here. So anything you kill with Lumians in this area, all some of that experience will go to both of these. And that, that's just a way of leveling up multiple at one time. Now we're just going to run over here. I'm not too worried about our bunny not being capable of it killing anything yet. Oh, nice. We've got our capture discs back. But yeah, I have full uh, faith in Blaze. I have full faith in him. I feel like he will help us and keep us safe. Protect us from all of the nasties that are out there in the world, you know? I mean, look at him. He's just, he's just a menace. He's a menace to society. To the forest of Lumen, uh, Lumians. So, all right. Uh, we're looking for a tablet. There's people over here. Wait, what is this? That's okay. I think this is like a, a medic, I guess. Right? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Okay. Alright, nice and healed up. All good. Don't have to use any of our meds. And we can buy meds and capture discs from the guy in there that was standing at the counter. 
Gale Forest. I promise I'm not making I'm not making any of this up. The Lumians I saw I saw them with my own eyes. They were possessed with an evil spirit. They attacked me with incredible strength. The aura gave it off was dark and chilling. Something was disturbed the souls of this forest. What are you saying is absurd? There are no evil wild Lumians in these woods. He's right. These woods have always been watched over by our guardian spirit. I've lived in these woods for many years, and I'm telling you, I have never seen anything like this. I believe Duskit, the guardian spirit of these woods, may be a key element in the local Lumians' change of behavior. Nonsense. The guardian spirit is a protector of the woods. This, sir, your claims simply do not make any sense. Fine, then. Don't listen to me. I know something has disturbed our sacred forest, and I will get to the bottom of this myself if I have to. Good day to you, sir. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come here. You look like a Lumian trainer. Listen, I need your help. Nobody will believe what I saw earlier today. Something in these woods has changed over the course of the last few days. Duskit, a guardian spirit, has protected these woods for centuries. I visited from time to time, and it's always been gentle, except, of course, when I went to visit this morning. Would you mind investigating this matter a little more for me? I would go back myself, but I am defenseless and cannot withstand another attack. Maybe having two eyewitnesses will convince me the law convince the law to take this more seriously. Duskit usually resides in a grove deep in the woods under the flowering tree. I'm going to inside to rest now for a bit. I've had a long day. Good luck, young trainer. <coughs> All right, so I guess it is time to uh, journey our way up the hill. <laughs> Just fighting our way all the way up. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I do got to be careful though, because I can't use the other two uh, Lumians while they are in while while the while they're benched. I can't select them. So if Blaze dies, then we'll be teleported back to town and have to walk all the way through this again. So I do have to pay attention to what's hitting me and my health, making sure if I get too low, I use the meds. Because we can use that mid-fight, so beneficial. Just uses up a turn, which is a little inconvenient. And we also should look out for chests. What was that? Oh, yeah, we can check on them, too. You okay? He doesn't know what to think. Oh, he's bored. Okay. Well, let's get to it, I guess. Nothing in that bush attacked us. I... Oh, what is that? Oh, it's another one of those statues. I don't understand what these are for, or what these do. I really would like to know. If any of you know, please let me know. The map said the ruins were here, but I see nothing. What am I missing? Look up, buddy. They're right there. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, um... We're just gonna run over here, I guess. This is it. I think this is the way to go. Oh, aw, trainer. Just found a bug type. I'm sure it's a Cathorn, isn't it? All right, Cade. Is it? A, oh, it's a Grubby. Oh, look at him. Okay, Grubby. Well, let's let let's see how Grubby likes fire. Not very well. Grubby doesn't like fire all too much. I mean, I don't blame him. I don't understand why. We're gonna do it one more time. Enjoy the flame. Get a little warmed up. Have a little spice in your life. Who's next? Look at that. We leveled up. Perfect. Ah, now a Cathorn. Alright. Yep. We can't switch, so we're just going to Singe again. Bam. Okay, yeah, Cathorn takes a lot more damage from. I don't remember what the level of the Grubby was, so I don't know about that. He might have been higher level. That's probably why it didn't do as much damage, but we did damage there, so that's good. And as you can see, it's saying that our bench Lumians are gaining experience as well. We haven't seen them level up yet, though. Another Grubby. I do not have enough energy, so I'm just going to rest. 
bam. You're gonna die here in two turns, I promise. I promise. Just give me a minute. One. See? Yeah, it might be it might be three. Can't promise the second turn will kill you. But we'll see. Critical strike, please. Nice. Alright, look at that. You should be done, right? That was your third dude. That was our first three Lumian trainer, I believe. I don't think we've fought three yet. Gone the wrong way. We have to go that way. Straight through! Yes. No interruptions. These guys are already inter interruptive enough. I'm not trying to step on your, your Lumians or correct your, make you feel, I'm not trying to make you feel, what is it, inferior? Yeah, I'm trying to make you feel inferior, deferior. I'm not trying to make you feel small, buddy, but I am going to destroy your, your aunt. Just, just saying, he's going to be die. He's going to be dead, not die. I don't know what die is. Yeah, see, he's gone. You gonna pull out another one? Do you have another one? Aha! Alright, Twilight leveled up. Aha, he's pulling out another antsy. Guess what? Take that. It's just a little bit of fire. Just a little bit. You like it? Yeah. Keeps you warm, you see. Stays with you. Good for the health. My health, at least, not yours. Okay, level ten. We've we've reached the double digits. I'm waiting for an, a new move. Twiddle leveled up too. She learned peck. I want a new move. I want a new fire move. Something, something strong, you know. That way. Immediately. Cathorn. And they do have shinies. They have alphas and gammas. So I believe the alphas tend to be... Red? One's red and one's green or blue. I can't really remember. I know one's red. I can't remember which one is red. But I know one's red. The other color is either green or blue. Depending on the creature. I think. Don't quote me on that. And then there's uh, Gleaming, which is just like shiny ones. And I have yet to see any of those, so that'd be uh, really, really cool to see. We are still not on the right level. I don't know how to get up there, or if there even is a way. Another trainer, what do you know? Oh, just evolved, huh? Oh, it's this battle. Cocoon. See, yeah. A prope. <sighs> Wonderful. This might take a while. Brace. Hopefully we can get a burn off. If we can get a burn on him, then it might not be too... Oh! It doesn't seem like Brace really did anything about Singe. That's really convenient. I like that a lot. The first time I did this, I, I used the the bat, like I said earlier, and I, I only had a few attacks. I had one dark move attack, and that did something, but it would barely even do as much damage as what that just did. It's crazy. I spent, like, three minutes just on this fight alone, just because of that one creature. It was something else. I don't like it. Yeah, it's just not ready yet. You gotta find a rope. Evolve it one more time. That was the creature I didn't want. That this guy turns into. Unless we have a rope. But, I mean... I th Did we capture... No, we captured Twilight and... Uh, Twiddle. Yeah, we didn't capture Cathorn. I don't think. I can't remember. We'll have to check. There's going to be plenty more everywhere. 
Bam. Adios, little bug. Because, I mean, we could always at least get one. Just to have it. In case we ever do find a rope. Where am I going? That way. Alright. And there it is. Beautiful pink tree. Uh, real quick. Let's go here. And we're going to go into our items. We're going to go to medicine. We're going to use it on him. Just because I feel like we're going to have to fight. Dusk it. Hey there, champ. What's up? Look at that big old rock. Oh my, it seems you've located one of the tablets. Piece. Piece of a tablet. Excellent work. Dark goop just beyond the tree. It appears to be radiating the same energy as our tablet piece. Looks as if it's tainted by something. I'm going to need that stone as soon as possible to be examining it. Digital transport. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna. There we goes. I wish that would be so nice. Should be receiving it momentarily. What's that thing behind you? Uh, oh, hey, Duskit. Oh, okay. Angry Duskit. It's corrupted. All right. Let's go, Duskit. Let's do this. Pounce is no good. Now this is one of like the extra, extra legendary creatures you can find r roaming out in the wild. It's like a legendary creature type deal. We're going to use Burrow just to uh, increase our defense because this is going to be a fight. And I'm also going to use Growl. I'm using Startle. It'll lower his melee attack. Okay, that's what that does. Now... We're going to continue doing damage. It's level 8. We're level 10. We sh should be okay. Is he going to... Am I going to hit? Let its guard down to rest. Okay. I don't... I have to watch my health. And my energy. This is the last hit I can do. Oh, I flinched. That's not helpful. Ooh. Okay, we have to heal this next move, and then we have to rest. This is going to be a interesting fight. We only have two med potions left as well. Stop using bad, bad moves. Moves that hurt. Please. No more hurt moves. Gotta rest. Is he going to... Okay, startle. That's not that bad. I'm going to use Singe. He's waiting out because he has no energy. We're going to use that. Alright. I'm going to use it one more time and then after that we'll heal. As long as this doesn't kill us. Okay, good. Critical hit. Nice. Use this. Bam, bam. Alright. We're good. This should be okay. Should he's gonna end up resting this turn? Yep, he's waiting out his turn. Singe. Two more hits, maybe. We might have to rest before we kill him, so we'll get this hit, and then we'll have to rest. Yeah, that's that sucks. He also has to rest, so it's okay. At least neither of us are taking damage. Bam. Come on. And look at that. Level 11. Level 12. Is that it? Yep, yeah, level 12. Alright. Twiddle grew to 6. Twilight 5. And Twilight moves. Learn stretch. Look at that. Back to normal, huh? Alright, Duskit can now be found roaming in the wild. Oh, there you are. I was worried something happened to you and you hung up suddenly. Is everything alright? Hmm, that must have been a Duskit, the guardian spirit of Gale Forest. Anyway, I got the tablet piece you sent. From what I can tell so far, it has a strong reaction to light. The corrupted matter seemed to completely dissipate when I shined a, a light on it. 
You might be able to destroy that dark blob with a bright light. I have an idea. Sy Sylvan City has a battle theater. As you know, each battle theater has a head trainer known as the Battle Star. If you can defeat the Battle Star's challenge, they will award you with a medal and, in some cases, install an exclusive application on your Lumion watch. Luckily for us, it just so happens that Naya, the Battle Star Sylvian City, has an app that can shine very bright light from your Lumi watch, perhaps bright enough to attack the Veil of Darkness. Neon Jacket, I think your next move is for you to make your way to Sylvan City and complete the Battle Theater and Challenge. While you work on that, I will try and pinpoint the location of another chunk of the tablet. I'll give you another call soon. See ya, champ. Hi there. I watched you battle Duskit from a distance. It seems a battle with it was all it needed to be freed from the corruption. I've heard reports of other people encountering corrupt Lumians all over, all around Roria. It does not appear that they can be captured, but I've heard that knocking them out will wait at times will at times make them drop a mysterious shard sorry, item that contains a powerful essence. If, pro if properly applied to your Lumion, it could potentially give your Lumion a powerful stat boost. Alright, well I've had enough action for one day. I'll be returning home now. Good luck, young adventurer, and thanks for your help. Alright, would you look at that? Come on, Blaze. We're gonna mosey our way out of here. We got another fighter there. We are not very good health, so I'm going to move these two up here just in case we have to switch to them. Hello. Come on, let's just get this crap over with. Alice. Alright, Singe. Level 7. Oh, staring at me. Oh no. Come on. Just... <laughs> I don't know why it keeps staring. But it works. As long as it's not taking my damage. You're dead. Goodbye. Nighty night. Sleep tight. 55 XP. Twilight? No, we're not gonna switch. Cause Blaze is—he's a fighter. He doesn't—he doesn't quit. He just doesn't quit. He wants to fight until he's dead. He fights till the very end, cause he wants to make it into Valhalla. That's exactly what he wants. That's—it's just our Blaze, you know. It's just our Blaze. That's what he wants. And I mean, look at him—he's just—he's just flinging molten rocks at people like nothing. Just like. I'm tossing it out like candy on Halloween night. He has to take a break every once in a while. But, you know, trick-or-treaters aren't constant. In some places. Most places, at least. One more? Or is that it? I defeated you. Look at that. Thank you for the money. Now, we can make it back to, uh... Back to the, 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 the whatchamacallit, um, we're gonna go in here, the healing place first, and rest up Blaze, and the next thing is to get to Sylvan City Battle Theater. That I feel like we definitely are gonna have to level up for, I want to at least get our first evolution before we try and fight that, um, but yeah, so... We're just going to go ahead and heal that up. Uh, we're going to see what he has to sell at first. See what he has. We have a thousand bucks. He has capture discs and small meds. I want to buy some meds. Let's see, 600, 900. We'll do four. Yep. Sounds good to me. There goes all our money. Okay. It's all right. We'll get uh, plenty of it back. Every person we fight gives us money. Um, we still have, what? Three, three discs? Oh, we have five discs. That's right, we opened a chest. Alright, well, would you look at that? Alright, well, that is going to be it for our first video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know any name suggestions for our Twiddle and Twilight and even Blaze. I'm 
I'd be more than happy if anyone has a better name suggestion. Just leave it in the comments. I'm happy to change it. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, make sure you comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. See you later.